Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron with the Detail Coat. Do you have a dirty car? Well, reach out to us. We have a few mobile trucks where we can come to you, and we do have a shop as well. So book your appointment at thedetailco.com. Use the code BELOSICO23 and receive 10% off. See y'all later. Hey everybody, it's your boy Loser Lou. It's uh, November 9th, 2023. It's like what, 63 degrees? It's raining outside. It's pretty ugly. Time change just happened. I can't get used to this fucking time change. Oh, it sucks that like six o'clock the sun's down. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, it's a struggle for me. Too. Like, <laughs> I definitely prefer it nice and bright later. It takes a while for me to kind of get used to it. I mean, I don't mind it being uh, bright in the morning, you know, because I do wake up early. But yeah, getting dark at night, like at six o'clock, it feels eight thirty, nine o'clock already <laughs> throwing me off. So I'm sitting here tonight with a local business owner, someone I've, man, I, I love shopping at your shop, bro. I love Supreme Smoke. We've got Jeremy from Supreme Smoke. He has a couple of uh, other endeavors as well. Um, sh- shout out your businesses, bro. What's up, Jeremy? Uh, I got a smoke shop at Supreme Smoke. Uh, we also sell some exotic snacks at Supreme Sodas and Snacks. And then uh, recently just got in um, to selling some jewelry. At J. Bowie and Co. That grill, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about not wearing it since, you know, we were going to do a lot of talking. But I feel, I don't know, I, I typically wear it as, you know, often as I can. I rarely take it out. Only when I, like, eat or smoke just to try to keep it clean. You know, I it kind of affects my talking a little bit, you know. Do you like the top or, the top or bottom easier? What do you mean by Because I used grills? to fucking hate the top grills. Oh. I hate top grills. It's weird. So, like, I've taken, I've worn just the top and talked, and then, or just the bottom and talked, and it, I can talk much, much better when it's just one. So, I don't know. It's hard to say, you know. With both, definitely a little trickier, but. It, do, it doesn't sound like it affects you too much. Okay. That, you don't hear a little Yeah, no, no, you bad. good, you good. Some words. Uh, you'll sound it more than others, but I've gotten better, you know, over the since I've uh, got it, you know. But so yeah, how, how long have you been in business? Uh, the smoke shop has been in business, uh, I think, fourteen years. Just this past summer, so that's you know originally. Uh, hey, yo, don't be afraid to get a little bit closer to the mic. Okay, cool, cool. My bad. How's that? Oh, that's a lot better. My bad, my bad. Yeah, I was chilling in the seat, relaxing. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Nah, cool, cool. Yeah, so uh, started the smoke shop uh, 2010, summer of 2010. So I, I don't, I haven't done the math in a while, but I, I want to say about 14 years. Um, then we got into the exotic snacks, um, and all that is, if if people don't know, that's just imported snacks from other countries. I don't know like, why, like Kit Kats from like Brazil, Brazil, yeah. Um, UK, Australia, all over. We literally got f- snacks from every continent except Antarctica. <laughs> I was looking through it all the other day. Uh, so we got into that uh, like right around COVID, I guess. The later end of COVID, maybe 2021. Yeah, probably 2021, you know, just at the shop. Probably was a little slower than usual, you know, just trying to find other things to get into, stuff that we can add to the shop, you know. And then uh, most recently uh, got into the jewelry. Just it's hard to say, you know, that's something that we talked about for a few years, you know, but didn't really execute or implement that probably officially – I guess I always go back to the Instagram. Like, we officially made that, I want to say, November of last year. So, 2022, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. November 2022. Yeah, so about a year this <clears throat> month with the um, with the jewelry. That's badass, bro. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, man, it's cool It's cool to see you grow. It's, still, it's cool to see you still thriving. I remember, like, I would, I would, I, I live here. I live in the West. I've been here 15 years. So, obviously, I would have to, like, drive out there. Man. And I would drive out there just because you got, like, Man, no other place has those. I don't know what they're called, man. Those little rocks that you put in the bong, uh, the carbon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, for, I for fucking bo- love those. 
Yeah, yeah. I think uh, he's referring to the uh, carbon for the carbon filter. There we go. Kind of like an ash catcher. Keeps your water piece super, super clean. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat. Uh, not, it's, it's not super popular for whatever reason. To me, they work just as well as, as an ash catcher. They're less bulky. Um, but yeah, it keeps your oh heat man, I hate, super clean. Ash catchers always break on me, right at the like like the stem. Yeah, they always snap. It's it's kind of awkward. It, it throws the weight distribution off, you know. So accidents happen pretty often with, with ash catchers, and I I feel like the uh, carbon filter kind of it, it doesn't throw the weight off as much, you know. So less bulky, doesn't get in the way as much. Yeah, know? dude, none none of the shops around here have. The carbon for that ever, ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. We bought a huge bag, literally, like maybe even ten years ago. Massive bag, <laughs> and we're still sitting on that same supply. Yeah. Damn, how big was that bag? Like a like, yeah, literally. Like I'm trying to huge, like the size of like uh like a mic. No, no bigger than a microwave. Oh really. shit! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. No, I'm. I I love smoking out of the bong. Uh. I used to break all my fucking bongs so that that just fucking saved me from having to clean it every other day. So now I only clean it every week. On I, a like a daily basis, what are you how are you smoking most often? Like what's your favorite method? Or not even your favorite, like how do you smoke most often? I wake up, hit the bong. Oh, okay, so bong. Most yeah, often. That's that's my I mean I need you saw I just have it on my kitchen table. I just leave it there. For sure. And for like sure. that's just how I like smoking, you know. It's, to me it's the most effective efficient no nah, i agree um at home i live by myself so you know i'm not gonna roll up a big joint or a big blunt i i rip bongs too um yeah i like the hey speaking speaking of bongs do you have like a favorite brand or anything like that you know people ask that all the time i mean i know, I know you also probably have access to a bunch of exclusive stuff to since you know a bunch of glass blowers i do i do and like when I first got into the game, of course, like, we were always grabbing the latest and greatest. Anything new and dope, you know, we would take it home. But over the years, it, the collection just got just out of control, <laughs> you know. So, to be honest, now my favorite, it doesn't even matter the brand, um, but my favorite style, Bong. It's just a straight shot, no chambers, you know, simple straight shot. I like to put, like, a... Kind of like a snapper bowl, but bigger. Like what's a, what's a snapper bowl? What's that mean? Like uh, you know, sometimes people will load a bowl big enough to where you'll pass it around. Oh yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I like a bowl that I'm just gonna catch the, to the myself. Personal. A personal yeah, bowl, yeah yeah, 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 and I'll rip a bowl to myself, and then I'll load a fresh one, give it to the next person. They can rip a fresh bowl, you know. So everyone get a nice, big, yeah, fresh bowl. Yeah, that's kind of how I like to smoke. You know, um, so so you prefer bong. My favorite, well, yeah, I say right now, yeah, I prefer a bong. That's how I smoke most often. But I will, you know, I'll never turn down a blunt or joint, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. But uh, and it kind of just depends, you know. Like I most often I'm smoking by myself. But like if I had a couple homies at the crib, I don't know if I would bust out the bong. I might just roll up a blunt just to, so it's easier to pass around, you yeah. know. So it kind of just depends, but. Most of the time, I'm smoking by myself. Yeah, you know, so I'll just load a quick bowl. Do uh, do you, do you prefer quick. blunts or joints? Now, now I prefer joints. Yeah. It's, yeah. Back in the day, it was always blunts. I that was like the only way I would smoke. It was just Swisher sweets, uh, cigarillo. Yeah, dude, and, Swishers, man. <laughs> They've been around for. I remember that was when I was young. I'm I'm forty. I just turned forty like last month. I remember when I was younger, like it was just Swishers, and then one, one, then Phil, Philly's Swishers, Philly, yeah. and then strawberry and chocolate, like Swishers, Phillies came out of nowhere. Then maybe like five years later, everybody had like a rap. <laughs> no, for sure, yeah, the rap game is crazy. But since um, you're around my age and you're an older smoker, like right now, backwoods are super hyped up, but it's nothing new. Like oh, yeah, they've man. been around oh, forever, yeah. you know. And back in the day, every now and again. I I would I was smoking backwards literally like like 2002 you know just to switch things up yeah um, just for another taste just for another taste you know and I mean I wasn't washing them back then I nah, learned about I that over not, the years yeah yeah I was definitely not washing them <laughs> and that's kind of that's probably why I wasn't feeling them they were like super harsh 
you know. Uh, but it's just crazy to me how trends change over the years. Because back in the day, that was like not popular. No one ever requested to like. No one ever, you know, would ask to smoke out of a backwood. And now at the shop, it's it's pretty common, pretty popular. People come in for those lots. Yeah, they do, and they're they're kind of expensive, you know, like uh, for a pack. And then sometimes they're dry. And that's man. That's, <laughs> okay, so I'm glad you brought that up. So like being a shop owner, that might be one of the most annoying thing about the backwoods. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, I don't smoke them, so I don't know if they're dry or not. But uh-huh. I guess sometimes they are. Yeah, some man. I've. Uh-uh. But um, customers will ask to like, like feel on them to uh, uh, to buy them, and I feel like if you have to do that for a wrap, then you know what I'm saying that's not a good brand. Like I don't even I don't want to carry them if people constantly have to ask me to. Yeah, like what's the what's the date? I wish they would just put a date on it. I like, would rather like be you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, and like people people act like. We have something to do with the freshness. Like, so <laughs> if they're not sitting on my shelf, they're sitting on the shelf at the warehouse, you know? So no matter what, it's it's like, there's really no, nothing we could do about it, yeah. you know? So even if I just got them in my shop, you know, that day, there's no telling how long it sat in the shop, uh, on the shelf, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the warehouse. Yeah, yeah. So like, I don't know. So it's, it's just one of them brands. People always like, oh, can I fill them real quick? And I'm just like, damn, like, if you got to fill them, like, they're, let's just pick another brand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's, yeah. If they're, if they're. It's like if you have that much trust issues, just move on. Well, if they're, if they're dry that often, like, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> you know? Like, so, yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't know. I guess you brought it up, so I just <laughs> had to. No, it's, it's cool hearing your input on things. I mean, you're. It's a, yeah, I guess a different perspective, yeah. you know. People don't really um, think about it from the shop owner uh, perspective, I guess. So, so what, yeah. do, you, do you have to educate people every day on, like, things there? Yeah. Uh, not, I mean, like I was telling you uh, off the mic earlier, like, I pick my battles. Like, I try to fill out the, the customers because some people are very stuck in their ways. They're not going to change up how they think, you know. Yeah. But, you know, I... I try to educate people, uh, you know, because I don't want them spreading misinformation. Especially since, uh, you know, we're selling stuff like THCA and they're hearing things and they don't realize, you know, and they just, they're hearing misinformation and they're spreading misinformation. So sometimes I I, I try to educate them, you know, but I, I fill out the customer if they're, if I feel like they're going to be hard headed and not be open minded, you know, I'll, I'll probably move on. And Dude. So all that CBD stuff, I get lost in all that. It's, it's crazy. And it's hard for even me to understand it sometimes, but so it's crazy. Like we're literally selling legal weed out the shop, you know, and right off the bat, people are skeptical and, and I don't blame them because it's, it's, <laughs> it's something new, but like if they just did like a little research, they would understand like this THCA is basically the same shit they're smoking that they're buying on the street. Like it's, it's, it's no, I'm not going to say no different, but it's very comparable, you know? So what, they're like cousins? I, I don't even want to say they're like, damn near brothers, you know, like, uh, so, and I know when people listen to, they're going to talk shit, how I explain it, but I'm trying to explain it in a way that's just, uh, it's not super technical, not technical and just easy to understand. And so like a customer come in, they're like, Oh, what, you know, what is this? So what I, the first thing I try to establish is THCA is nothing new because for whatever reason, since they just heard about it, they thought they think it's like it got invented in 2022 or something. So like I'll just be like, you know, when was the when was the last time you smoked cannabis? And they'll be like, oh, I smoked cannabis this morning. And I was like, okay, cool. You smoked THCA this morning. You know what I'm saying? Like it's in all cannabis. It naturally exists in cannabis. It's it's nothing new. You know what I'm saying? It's new to you, but that don't mean it's new. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's. 
So, so, so then we probably smoked it before. Oh my god, like one million percent. <laughs> so, like, I had a homie. Uh, you know, he. Um, this is we were smoking some weed off the street, but mm-hmm. it was in a jar, and this particular jar had the um, lab report on it. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I. I I, I looked at it and I it had and I'll show you here. Had, I'll have a picture of it. And it'll kind of help uh-huh. uh, understand. Uh, it had THC THCA on it, and I was like, "Look, do you see? I I want to say it had like forty percent THCA." And I was like, "Look, this is street weed, and it has forty percent THCA." Oh, you were able to test it? No, oh, it had it on the oh, on oh, the it, label, it, it and I'm gonna show it. you. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. And I was telling my homie, and then. He, and then it, it kind of clicked for him. He was like, oh, so street weed has THCA. And I'm like, yes, bro, it's not. See, I'm just skeptical about it just because, like, I don't know. Like, we're in Texas. We've never no, no, bought weed from a course. fucking store. <laughs> but it, no, it's, let me, I'll look it up as we uh, talk about it. So, like, um, I, I was showing him. I was like, you know, so street weed has THCA. It's nothing new. And it kind of started to click for him. But how, how the loophole works that we're able to sell, uh, I'll look it up. I can't multitask, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine, bro. I, I really appreciate you sitting with me, man. No, 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 for <laughs> sure. I, I, I'm actually enjoying it. I mean, you know, we're just chopping it up. It's really no different than us just chilling 15 minutes ago, yeah. you know. <laughs> so it's cool. But uh, uh, I lost my train of thought. Something about the THCA. THCA. Yeah. So what was I saying, though? Uh, I was telling them. Um, Okay, so anyways, uh, in the cannabis plant, and then we'll just I'll just talk about the how we're able to sell it. So like, in a uh, cannabis plant, any cannabis plant, it don't matter. For whatever reason, people think like there's only one THC, you know, like, but really there's probably like fifteen or twenty different types of THC. You know, delta eight is a type eight type of THC Delta nine is a type of THC. So in a cannabis plant, we'll just say 15 to 20. I don't know exactly how many out of all of those, only one of those is going to determine whether it's legal or illegal. And I guess technically like hemp or cannabis, you know? So out of all those, um, cannabinoids, the one that, the one that determines whether it's legal or illegal is Delta nine. And even when I say that, that confuses people. Uh, Delta, like the main THC that's illegal in Texas is Delta 9. Some people can't even put that two together. (laughs) But like the full scientific name is Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol. Yeah, so that's the full, you know, but we dropped that Delta 9. So we just say THC, you know what I'm saying? But THC is Delta 9. But yeah, a lot of people don't understand that. Uh, so out of all those 15 to 20 compounds, cannabinoids, whatever, um, so long as Delta 9 is below 0.3%, all those other ones can be at whatever. It could literally be a million. Like, it, it don't matter. Like, as long as it's below 0.3% Delta 9, that, that strain is legal. So how why that matters with THCA is because they don't test for uh, THCA levels. And how THCA works is, uh, it's it's by itself it's it's not psychoactive. So like if you ate THCA, it would do nothing. You know, you would get no effect from it. But as soon as you apply heat, like smoking a joint, uh, vaping it out of a cart, whatever, it hitting it out the bong, the lighter hitting the bong, whatever heat period. Okay, it immediately converts to delta nine THC. Yeah, so. That's that's the loophole. So for whatever the high is no different. It's it's the same thing. So for whatever reason, people hear THCA, they think it's weaker. They think it's something they've never had. Before. So it's so it's not diet weed. It's not diet weed. Hell yeah. That's the main thing I'm trying <laughs> to get people to understand. So you know, uh, as long as Delta Nine is below 03 uh, percent, THCA and most of the THCA strains we sell are going to be in the twenty percent. You know, so they're relatively. Uh, pretty strong and once you apply heat it it's going to convert to delta nine so that point two or you know it, whatever since it's below point three it's going to immediately you know be much higher once you apply heat to it so 
I'm not gonna sit here and tell people, oh, it's it's za, uh, it's exotic. Like <laughs> it's not. But like most of the people that's coming into my shop that's buying hundred dollar ounces, hundred fifty dollar ounces, y'all smoking mids. This is yeah. this THCA is on that same level. You know what I'm saying? It's it's I I I compare it to street mids. Like I don't I'm not gonna hype it up and tell people. Some of it looks really amazing. I ain't gonna lie. Like I man, I should have brought some of that just to show you. Next, I mean, next. I mean, just because probably like, I know most of the stuff we get here, you know, comes out of state. So, so I know like some of the stuff we get doesn't look the greatest. So I'm pretty sure the stuff you're getting, it's grown locally. Some of it, uh, some of it is grown locally, but some of it, to be honest, is uh, like uh, sent in. But so, that, oh really? Yeah, yeah. So that brings up another point. You know, the street weed that's getting sent here, that's obviously reject weed. That didn't make exactly. it to this. Exactly. They can't. Yes. They can't sell that in Cali. That's why they dumping it here in Texas. So, like, how good can it be? People don't understand that, you know. So, to make my point, for us to legally be able to sell the THCA um, flower, it's it has to be lab tested, you know, to do it legally. Of course, I know there's shops selling uh, black market weed out the shop. Like, it's it's pretty obvious. Um, but to legally do it you you know it's supposed to be lab tested you know so how we, we we operate legally our stuff is lab tested so at the very least you're getting weed that's not uh no pesticides no harmful metals no mold no fungus you know what i'm saying so like yo a lot of people don't look out for that yeah i know? remember seeing i remember seeing a lot of rowdy moldy weed oh for sure for sure i remember smoking moldy <laughs> weed like no, nah, I mean, yeah, same. Like, just not being educated or trying to catch a deal, you know, like, for sure. Um, and I've, you know, I've, I've dabbled in cultivation in the past and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> had some issues with stuff that, yeah, just was too moist. And, yeah, we dealt with a little mold as well. But, yeah, people don't understand. And um, that we that we sell at the shop is actually super clean med weed whatever you know because it's it's legit lab tested yeah you know so like i said it's 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 not uh and we can get i don't know it's some of it really looks amazing uh next time we do a podcast i'm gonna bring some snacks and some uh, <laughs> uh some weed to show you but some of the flower like it looks exotic for sure but I still think, I don't know, it, it kind of gives me, um, it, it, I get high, period, for sure, like 1,000%. Um, but I, I would say still more on a mid level, you know, not not like, obviously not like doing a dab, but uh -huh. I don't know. I've smoked well, do, some. Do you, do you prefer that or do you prefer the bud you get from the homies? So that's an interesting question. Um, the bud I get from the homies can be good. But you got to deal with all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yo, uh, meet me at this parking lot in 30 oh minutes. Oh, my gosh. You know what I'm saying? I and fucking hate that. So, like, a lot of the customers I sell to, it's not even like, they don't even, they're not even looking for the, I don't want to say best. Like, they're not even looking for, like, the highest percentage THC. They, they're professionals. Like, they got a career. They don't want to meet some shady plug in a parking lot. They, wanna, they don't want to meet someone in fucking Valero. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't want to wait in a parking lot for some dude that says he's going to be there in 20 minutes, but it's really just... They're on plug time. Yeah. You know, they want to be able to... They know my business hours is from 11 to 10. So at any point of the day, if if my shop is open, they can walk in, walk out, and grab, you know, their, their product. And they can use a credit card, you know... Everything is lab tested. It's legal. Like if if a cop pulls you over, he he can't take you to jail because it's 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 legal weed, you know. So I I don't even try to I don't know like college kids. I really don't push it too hard on them. But the professional, the older people, I definitely uh, you know. And we're not even really pushy at the shop. Like we're not salesmen at all. But I I will mention it. Yeah, I mean y'all have never been pushy. Like I I know when I go in there, I'm looking for. I'm I'm there looking for a specific thing. We we just simply educate people and we let them make up their own mind. Yeah, we don't we I don't know. We're not and now that, that's how we've always operated, you know, from the beginning. We never like that pushy salesman type vibe. You know. So, do you prefer dabs or, or flower? 
Um, I really have no preference. I like both. I do both. I guess it just kind of depends, like, the situation. You know, like, if I need to get super high, super quick, you know, <laughs> I, I got to, like, run out the door. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a dab real quick, you know, just to get to the point, you know, because sometimes, yeah, like, I'm trying to leave the crib <laughs> super right. And I won't have time to grind down some trees, roll it up, smoke it. And then you kind of, you know, you'll smell like it a little yes. bit. Yes. But, like, if, you know, if I have, if time isn't an issue, I'm chilling, I'll probably smoke flour. Yeah. It's, I, I mean, no preference. I, I've done dabs just chilling, no rush to, you know. So Yeah. It, yeah. What about you? What do you prefer? Oh, man, I prefer flour. If I, I'm if I have something to do, I prefer flour. Because if I'm hitting the dab, like, I'm going to be kind of dumb. <laughs> the, the dab kind of get heavy way, on you. Yeah, dude, I get way too relaxed. Yeah, I feel even like a smaller dab is still kind of heavy for you. I don't know. Or, I don't think I've ever done a small dab. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's just so easy to do something, like, oversized on accident. And it's, I don't know, it's so quick. People tend to do, like, because smoking is like a process. So it takes, dabbing, you'll do one. And it's over in like two, three minutes. Even though you're high, you're, you're it's like you're bored. You want to do it just to like do something. Yeah, you just, know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was like the that was yeah. That's the that's the the downside of dabs for me. <laughs> is like I don't know. I just I want to do more, not necessarily get high, but just because I'm like like want to do something, you know? Because smoking, well, that's like maybe a twenty minute process. Yeah, right. Grinding it, rolling it, smoking it. You know, I just love smoking. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's just so relaxing, like, I don't know. The, the whole process. Yeah. yeah. I can definitely feel that, for sure. So you said you've been there 15 years. Has it always been the same location? No. So um, right now, we're at, uh, I guess, how, we're the L.A. So, I mean, it's all Babcock and Hebner. For the people listening, uh, there's the L.A. Fitness you know, so we're we've been in that shopping center. We're in that shopping center now, right, right next to the vacuum store. Right next to the <laughs> vacuum store, but uh, we started across the street, st- same intersection where the pawn shop is. But we were where we were where the cricket store is now, and I can't remember why we even moved across the street originally. I'm trying to think real quick. I don't even know why, but we moved to where. If y'all are familiar with the area, there's a pet store there. I forgot what it's called. But there was an empty unit. And then, um, I mean, I'm sorry. There, it was us and then empty units on both sides of us. And I think we were there for several years. But eventually, um, I guess that that property, I, I'm drawing a blank. That property guy, uh, someone were, was interested in those two empty units on both sides of us and our spot. You but know, the, the pet store wanted it all? The pet store wanted all three, yeah. You know, so the landlord was like, look, you know, we got a big franchise. You know, they want to move in. You're kind of messing it up. Like, <laughs> you know, can yeah. you work with us? We, we, we you're, You'll still be in the shopping center, you know, um, but we, we, we'll be able to move these people in. And uh, they, you know, they, they worked with us with some rates. They made us a new sign. Oh, um, that's cool. They gave us a little allowance for the move. And everything, so they made it. I mean, they took care of all the financial part. That's badass, for sure, for sure. And that's you know, cool because I always hear about like building owners just being jerks. So man. it's cool to hear like, I mean, you you apparently must like it there. You've been there fifteen, like in that same little area. For 15 yeah, yeah, yeah. Years. So the the people that own that shopping center, in general, like over the years, you know, since we've been with them so long, like they they were cool. We we did like them. Everything was was good. Were they were they skeptical of y'all at first since y'all were selling? Nah, not at all. And that's damn. That's what's yeah. Selling. And I I mean, we did this like I dropped out of college to do so. We were like very young, not experienced, not you know. And I'm sure they were like you know what are we what are we getting into you know you you what like thirty five. Um, 37. 37? So you were what, like 22 when you started the shop? 24 when 24? I started. 24? And my brother was 22, though. So that uh, my brother is my partner, and he was 22. Yeah, so, yeah, these landlords, they definitely um, gave us a shot, you know, and it, it thank God it worked out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 
and you know, over the year they were super cool, but I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so they own the shopping center across the street from us now, and they just let some other smoke shop open up, and it's just like, dang, how y'all gonna do that? Like, oh, it's okay, like walking okay. distance close, you know, and and I, you know. I'm I'm not mad. Oh, man, you shouldn't let it bug you. You're Supreme Smoke. You know exactly. what I mean? Like you got people come from all of sides of the city to go visit you. Exactly, like, exactly. You know, I mean, it, like it's just kind of, um, and it, that for sure. Like we were established, of course, but mainly, like, you know, like if I put myself in his shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like, but the, but then again, I do see your point. It's like, how are you gonna let someone else trap yeah, what I'm trapping across the street? Of course. Like, do you like my rent money? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I but, feel that. you know, that spot had been available for a while, you know. So I'm looking at it from his perspective. It's like someone finally interested, you know, they pass up on this. Who knows when the next person will be interested, you know. So, like, I can't say I blame him, you know, but I – am I happy about it, you know? Like, <laughs> I – I'm not even tripping, but would I prefer them not to be there? Yeah, probably. I, I'd prefer a different business to be yeah. there. But like, yeah, of course. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say I'm unhappy about it or anything like that. Like, it's it's whatever. Like, it's business. You know, like yeah. you gotta you gotta roll with it. Like, so I remember you. Have y'all done any shows at the shop? I remember y'all y'all used to do things like that. Uh, yeah. So that um, when we were at the spot um, where the pet store is, the back area was just. Uh, Wide open, you know. Oh, so it's because of space. The space. It was secluded, you know, and it was it was secluded but wide open. A lot of space um, for us to set up to do shows, you know. And our, our shows were just mainly glass blowing. Events, yeah, that, that was um, cool as fuck. You know, people blowing guys. Like, yeah. That, shit, that was interesting to watch. Which ones did you go to or which one do you remember in particular? Fuck, man, it was years ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I think my boy Soup was out there painting. Oh yeah, Soup was like, out that was, there. That was that was that was a grip ago. <laughs> Definitely. So uh, yeah, so we always had him come, and what we knew from going to other um, glass shows was like glass blowing is a slow ass process. So like, if you're sitting there just staring at it, you're it's, you're gonna get bored. You know what I'm saying? Like, it yeah. don't matter how. Even if you are a glass blower yourself, like you can only stare at someone doing it for so long. You know. So we needed, we knew to keep people there, keep them engaged. We needed something that would come together quicker, so we would do the live graffiti. You know. So yeah, and you can see that come together quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and it, so it was a. I don't entertaining is not the right word, but no, you're right. You're right. You know I mean, saying? if you draw a crowd, you got to entertain the crowd. So it just had, like, something else to engage them because glass blowing is boring. But, like, <laughs> you give it two or three hours and you go back to the glass blowing and you see the progress. Then you're like, okay, hell, you know. It's, it's, but, like, yeah, from, like, if you look at it in five minutes, there's not there's not much getting done in five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. just So, like, yeah, we would have soup come out. He, he pretty much came to uh, pretty much every event we had. Um a lot of people, I mean, because he, you know, he's well known. He he would promote for us as well, you know, and yeah, a lot of people like his artwork. Spe speaking of promotion, how'd y'all how'd get that following? You guys got a massive following. On the Supreme Smoke? Yeah, yeah bro. Just, you know, like, I didn't even realize that up until just uh, like, a, like a couple years ago. I just never really cared yeah. and didn't keep track. But to be honest, I don't even know. I guess just... <laughs> I don't even know when we started the Supreme Smoke Instagram. It had to be a while, but it just slowly built up. To, it was all organic. We didn't do no that's, like that's badass, bro. Uh, I don't even know how to get. I don't even know how to pay for followers. So you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, just <laughs> that's all, a, that's a that's a good thing, like not to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just over the years, just slowly getting it built up. But I'm not gonna lie, like uh, with the like me selling THCA. Every now and again, I'll try to make a post thinking it'd be cool, and like Instagram will flag that real quick. And like, I get scared to um, like losing that account. Like, they, we have a couple. I don't know how they keep track or whatever, but we definitely have a few strikes on us, and I got to be careful. Like, I don't know how I post. I I probably should do a backup page. I see that that's what people do nowadays. Hey, one I, thing. One thing I really liked. I like how you did a, a back to school giveaway, and I love how you were like pictures none of that like we're just doing this if you need help let's get it yeah you know so like yeah like, just, I, f I felt that when i read that i was just like fuck yeah like 
I just like, I don't know. I see, and I'm not hating on it because I know why they're doing it. But you know, when people are helping and then they make this big Instagram, the, the way know, I see, the way I see, it, if you're gonna sit there and make a post about something like that. You better be giving, like, you better be donating, like, yeah, 10 racks. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Not no, like, yeah, yeah. So, like, the people that are doing it, they're doing it huge-ass, like, donation. Like, because they're, they're recording to get, I guess, like, they're monetizing it. You know what I'm saying? So, I get that. Like, I'm not hating on that. I totally get it. And I, like, I follow several accounts that um, I think is, you know, super dope. They, Yo, I thought that was super honorable how you did that. I, I like how you it, came, yeah. how you came, like, how you worded everything and how you did everything like that that was cool as fuck bro for sure but yeah you know so like i want like i love helping people i help people all the time and i don't ever mention but like i just know like when you do need something it's not like oh, i don't want people to be embarrassed about it you know like yeah no man i feel you man yeah so i just yeah you know just want to make it as simple and easy without because the people, I don't know, like, if they have to, the, you know, they don't want to, mainly they just don't want to be embarrassed or whatever. You know, I don't want to put them in that position. Yeah. I want them to be able to get the help they need without feeling, you know. Without feeling it. like they just got to yeah, fucking yeah, hand you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it just, yeah, it kind of, they didn't have to ask for nothing. You know, it's just like, they yeah, they just came up on some supplies. And, yeah, I'm glad I, I'm just glad I'm in a position to be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's, that's really a big motivation why we even like try to go hard. You know, like how me, me and my brother literally talk about it. It's like the more money we make, the more money we can, or the more people we can help and the more money we can give away too. you know? So that's, that's really a, like a big motivation why we even do what we do, you know? So, I, man, I really appreciate you even like bringing that up, you know? Um, Cause like I don't really uh, go out and try to get any type of recognition, but yeah, I ain't gonna yeah, yeah. lie, like you know, like when people do it, 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 it don't feel bad. Well, I mean, like you know, I was skimming through everything, everything that you had on that page, and you know, that was the first thing that popped up, and I was just like, hey, damn, that's what's up. That's that's some real ass shit. Like, I don't know. I see some people doing it sometimes, and I'm just like, hey, you know, that's really cool. You did that, but I mean, like, why do you gotta brag about it? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like, why do you gotta brag that you gave someone some fucking lunch? Like. For sure. Like, just do it. Like, exactly. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't, like, don't want to touch. I, I probably shouldn't have brought it up like that because now I sound like a jerk. <laughs> no, no, no. I, no, like, I know what you're trying to say. Like, yeah, no, no. You, you didn't come off like that at all. I know what you're trying to say because I, I, I'm i the same way, you know. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, that was that was cool. I, I appreciate you, you know, you, you uh, recognizing that. So the jewelry, what's the coolest piece you've made? Like, what's the piece that you made that you were just like, damn, I did this? To be honest, like, we're still new, and, like, grills have been um, kind of, uh, like, what I like, like, I don't know, like, what I like making, I guess. So it's yeah. really just been, like, the diamond grills, you know? And when people see it, they're just like, oh, it's a diamond grill. But, like, we... I feel like um, ours are just uh, different, and I don't know. I know I'm biased because obviously they're mine and I'm making them. But yeah. like when I compare it to other people, and I don't know, like our, I just feel like the shaping, how I can, my shaping is cleaner than people, you know. Um, oh, there's there's a little science to it then. Not, not science, more art. Oh, okay, art, okay, art. Yeah, and. You know, um... Because I'm, I'm coming from the point where you just put it... You, you put the mold in your mouth, you just bite down on it. And then a few days later, you get a grill. <laughs> no, I feel you. And, man, so that's... That, that part you biting down, believe it or not, like, that's... People don't understand. That's literally... That's the crucial. Most, it's so crucial. It's the most important part. I'm literally taking an L this week um, because this dude could not... I mean, and it's kind of my fault. Like, I probably shouldn't have completed the grill. I, I, I could tell it was a little wonky. But anyway, the dude just didn't bite down straight. So it looked like maybe one side got pushed, like, got a better impression than the other. But it was so subtle, like, you could barely notice it, you know. And 
we made the mold. The mold looked good. Like I didn't. The only reason, like I'm thinking back now, because this is his second grill. This is he's a good client. This is his second grill, and his first one, his the second one was slightly different from the first one. So that that should have been the first red flag for me. Like I should have just been like, nah, it's different. Redo it. But I was like, you know, it looked good. Yeah. You know, like I just kind of went <laughs> with my gut feeling. Unfortunately, this time it was off, but. It looked good, so I I rolled with it, you know. It was the bottom piece, um, and I made it, you know. But when uh, uh, I gave it to him, it fit perfect. It, it, you know, he had no issues with the fitment, but it was just slightly, just I don't know, just what's the word? I mean, just wonky, I guess. That's a little, only, a little off. Just a little off, like the fitment was perfect, so no one noticed it. You, right you see, then. like I I didn't know any of that when I when I. Bit down. No, like, they didn't explain anything. To me. Oh, hell no. I, they were just like, yo, just bite under that. No, hell no. Like, to me. And then, and then oh, my God. All right, all right. I better cut you off. So <laughs> I get. Good? I, I bought this pendant from this guy. It was an angel wing. An angel. Okay. The wings fell off. Dang. So I take it back, like, the next day, and I'm like, yo, these wings fell off. What the fuck? He was just like, you want to trade it in? I was like, all right, cool. So I traded him for a diamond-encrusted grill. Well, one of the diamonds fell out. I don't know if I swallowed it or what, oh. but it was gone. So I took it back and I was just like, yo, this diamond fell out. He was like, all right, I got you. He puts a brown diamond in it. So it didn't even match? It looked like I had a piece of shit in my mouth. <laughs> and I went back like, what? yo, like I can't I can't do this. Like, we gotta start from scratch. We gotta figure this out. That's... He made it right. He gave me this fucking quarter pound fucking necklace. It okay. was it was massive. It hurt my neck. I couldn't wear it for longer than three hours. <laughs> but yeah, you see how jewelers are out here? Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable giving someone a diamond that didn't match the rest. Yeah, like, he didn't even, like, say anything. That's what kind of pissed me off about it. Like, he didn't say, like, hey, this is what I did. Like, I was just, like, looking in the mirror, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, dang, what the fuck is that? Like, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> nah. I mean, real talk, diamonds will fall off. Like, um, it's, it's going to happen because yeah. they're, you know, they're setting prongs. Uh, them prongs can get a little loose, you know, and it, it happens. But yeah, you would definitely want to put a, a diamond <laughs> that matches the other one so that you can't see, you know, it, it needs to blend in. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But yeah, you know, so diamonds, I mean, it they'll fall, they'll fall off. That's not. I wouldn't hate on someone's grill or, or like a grill maker if a stone fell off or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wear and tear. Yeah, not even that. Like it just, dude. I, now that I think about it, I had that grill like a week and a half, two weeks when that diamond fell off. I was just like, Dang. damn, like that just happened. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna lie, it does suck, you know, because um, you, yeah, because <laughs> you don't want to see a diamond fall off. But you know, it's not a big deal. It just needs to be reset. Like, so, do you get any weird DMs about jewelry now? <laughs> that that's funny. Uh, you, you mentioned that because I literally <laughs> made a story post today on the jewelry page. Um, so, you know, with the jewelry, um, we deal with a lot of like local rappers, you know, they're trying to, uh, portray a certain image. So they want the jewelry look, you know? Yeah, of course. Um, a rapper reached out to me. Let me see. I'll pull it up real quick. Cause <laughs> I, I can find, I'll multi, I'll find that real quick. Cause I posted it today. It's funny because I shared. Yeah, it. I know. I was laughing. I was, I, oh, okay. That's I, was what like, about. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I saw it. I saw. I wasn't sure if it was a coincidence, about. but uh, yeah. No, no, so no. I, I do a little bit of homework. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to read it to, for the listeners? It's, yeah, let's okay. go for it. Let's go for it. So he goes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read how he he spells the word out and everything. <laughs> so he goes, I've been trying to work with the jewelry business on a collab to help build a clientele. And this, he don't use no um, grammar. It's literally, I guess, it's a paragraph, but one long sentence. <laughs> I'm trying to build a clientele with the following I have, and it's only going up. I got hella jewelry. I got grills, so I don't need it. But I've been looking into collabing with the jewelry company, like I said. Hopefully, we can talk business, and I can get a piece made or a grill, and it's funded, and we collab, and people start knowing that all my jewelry is from you. So... So first of all, if someone's gonna hit you up, it'd be nice if they can at least like come at you correctly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's and it happens 
pretty often because we just deal with a lot of rappers. Um, Dude, believe, believe me, I know what you mean. You know, as a photographer, people hit me up all the time asking for asking me for like favors, do them shoots for free, shit like that, and I'm just like, it's cr- man. I don't know you. But Why am like, I gonna hook you up? Yeah, yeah, no, I one thousand percent. But like this same dude, like literally just. He made a post or a story post, something like that, talking about like, um, you know, he. I think he said his feature price is a thousand bucks. I can't remember exactly right now off the top of my head, but you know, he was just saying how, oh, you know, that's his price, and you know how he's such a established rapper, like that's what he feels like he deserves, you know, like, and I'm, so, someone who's feeling like they're that's what they're worth. How can you go to a jeweler and be like, oh, I want something free? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want this much for a verse, but I'm not going to pay for jewelry. Like, I just don't understand how that thought process, you know, even just how, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 2023, man. Yeah, and, and it, it's that, and it's just like the, the generation, these young bucks are just different. Like, <laughs> Yes, bro. Dude, I, I trip out how people trap off Instagram. It's yeah. That blows my fucking mind. Like for real, for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I for me because like I mean we I I had my trapping stage and like it was me and me and my brother were talking about this too. It's just how we had to do it back then and how we did it now. It was it's just it's completely different. You know, back then it was almost all word of mouth. You know, because yeah. you weren't gonna send a video. Or, you know, there just wasn't, like, Telegram to see a video or you you weren't going to put prices on your, your Instagram online, you know? So it was just, like... I trip out how these kids do that. Like, I come from an age where, like, one of my old plugs, if I even did... If I even had, like, a video of me smuggling, to be like, yo, you need to take that down. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> no, 1,000%. One, 1, nothing was, like... Nothing was... I wouldn't have nothing recorded... Digitally, and I mean like pictures, like like I I, I know like I kind of trip out when people are like, "Well, can I get a picture?" It's like, well, I could take, I could show you any picture of weed, and you're gonna believe it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like, what, what, yeah, what, what's a picture gonna do? Like, <laughs> people, the trapping nowadays is, is very very interesting. Yeah, and it's just, I don't know. Like, obviously, if Law enforcement got tipped off. Like, they can just, uh, you know. <laughs> Look go, at someone's yeah, fucking page. I, I screenshot, screenshot that shit. How that don't doesn't make. And not even law enforcement. Like, ops and shit. Like, <laughs> people jealous. Yes. And, you know, like. And I don't know. A lot of these trappers, like, they like. They're flashy. So, they, they like to put their lifestyle out there for people to see. You know. So, it's like. I don't know. It's crazy. I just. Yeah. I don't know. Different generation. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I think it is a generational thing. Well, shit. Back to the snacks. Do you have a favorite? Favorite, like you the, know, your, your uh, snacks. Like, what, what do you, what are you fucking with? That's a, that's a pretty common question, and it's tough. Cause I mean, I love food in general. I mean, I'm pretty sure you got to like sample all. You sample most of most, them. most. I wouldn't say all, but most. And it's, let me think. I don't know. People ask all the time and i really don't because I, I i like a lot of it you know and like even like even non-snacks if you ask me what my favorite food was it that'd be a tough question because i i love food like i just <laughs> wouldn't know but going back to snacks except eggs right no no i, I like <laughs> eggs just, not, just i would uh just not so i remember we were talking about tacos <laughs> you, were, you, you were telling me you prefer um mini tacos over like breakfast tacos. yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah. mini tacos over breakfast tacos but don't get me wrong i will not turn down any type of taco <laughs> I, I, yeah i'll eat all tacos i do not discriminate <laughs> but favorite snack i would say i mean i probably out of all the snack i probably drink sodas the most but it's, let me think. I do like the sodas. Well, you drinking all your Fago? I drink a lot of Fago <laughs> for sure. Drink that's that's fucking dope that you carry that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, nah, they're like. I I always tell I always tell myself one day I'm gonna write an autobiography and I'm gonna call it I was a teenage juggalo. <laughs> and it's gonna have nothing to do about insane clown posse. That's hilarious. <laughs> and I didn't know that that was their favorite drink up until like. 
maybe like two years ago, someone had mentioned that to me. Dude, you go to one of the shows, you're getting drenched in it. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's that, I feel them. That's, <laughs> bagels are solid, solid. But yeah, I guess favorite snack. I'll, I'll drink sodas. Or, but the, if like a non-soda, I'll probably say these uh, Twix cookies we get. Those are pretty good. It's kind of like a, basically like a Twix, but more, less chocolatey, more cookie form, you know. Dude, I was tripping out on the Oreos, man. Oreos are solid. They'll sell well for us. People There's like just them. so many different, like... A lot of options. Kinds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of... I, man, you need to try the uh, uh, the cinnamon... Hold on, is it honey bun? Yeah, cinnamon. No, is it honey bun? No, cinnamon bun. I'm tripping. Yeah, the cinnamon bun Oreos, yeah. And I had a customer tell me to put those in the microwave... For like five seconds, and man, it's game changer. <laughs> yeah, makes it like nice and soft. It's it's super good with a glass of milk or something. Have you done any more pop ups? Oh yeah, uh, I try to do those. Do like you got once. anything coming up? Do I have anything coming up? Uh, no, I don't think I do. Um, but I I need to. Uh, I don't. I yeah, I need to lock something in. Maybe this week is already almost. Maybe for next week. But uh, the last one I did. Oh, I did a first Friday at, um, this is a, they've been in business a while, but they just moved to the, to their new location. Are you familiar with, it's called the hub, the hub market. Maybe it's like a, it's off South Alamo. Yes. It's like a little biking spot. It's, yes, it's, yes, 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 yes. They're super cool people. I really like them. Um, yeah. I bought a bike from there now that I think about it. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're cool people. So they let me set up for free actually. Oh, that's the last badass. two months. Damn, yeah. On a first Friday? On a first <laughs> Friday. Baller, hell yeah. Yeah. Real talk, real talk. So shout out to them for sure. Because like doing these pop-ups, man, like these, it's, it's just getting out of hand with all these vendor fees, you know, like, so <laughs> yeah, a free market on yeah. a, a first Friday. Yeah. I would really That's definitely come that. up. Definitely. And then I'm not going to lie. Um, the last one was a slower market, but like, and you know, uh, they felt bad. They came and like, they didn't apologize, but they were like, you know, you could leave early if you want. But I was like, nah, you know, like I'm going to stay to the end. Like I'm not tripping. This is how markets go. Like, not everyone is going to be great, you know? Yeah, not, a, and, not everyone you're going to hit. Yeah. It's like gambling. It's like, yeah, that's exactly. I didn't say gambling, but I told, because I do a lot of hunting and fishing. So I told her, like, our saying is, you don't know unless you go. Like, we don't know if we're going to catch a lot of fish sitting on the couch. You know, you just got to go to find out. I don't know if I'm going to shoot a lot of birds this morning sitting on the couch. You know, got to got to go to know. Is that what you prefer to hunt, birds? Yeah, so like, man, uh, if like that's that's really like my main passion. Like, if I'm not working, if if, if I was a millionaire, I didn't have to work. I'd, I'd be hunting birds every day. And uh, when I say birds, I really I'm referring to ducks, ducks and geese. That, that's really what I love doing. Yeah. Damn duck hunt, duck hunt. Yeah, <laughs> let me just. I don't look like I'm a duck hunter, so I'm gonna just show you a picture just so you get. Like, hey, a that's little, something I didn't expect. That's hella cool. Get a little mental picture of kind of. Um, so what season is that? What do you mean? Well, it's actually in season now. Just kind of yeah. scroll through real quick. So uh, opening weekend was actually last weekend, Saturday. First day of the uh, um, duck season. So that's like, yeah. Damn, sir. That's my main passion. So like, that's, you Ducked know. up right there. Oh, yeah. So those, that in particular are teal. And that's a species of ducks. They're a smaller duck. They, uh, they have their own season because they, they migrate. So how duck hunting works is all the ducks, um, they start up north, like in Canada, you know, and as it gets cold up there, they start migrating south. So teal migrate first before all the other ducks. So their season starts um, in September. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like they'll they'll migrate first. They have their own special season for about three weeks, and then it closes, and then. Normal duck season opens, reopens. Up. And it's confusing for non-hunters, but all my duck hunters know what's up. And then, like, uh, it normal duck season will open in the in November. I'm, I'm not sure. Typically, the first Saturday in November. I don't know if that's, like, exact, but typically it is. And then teals will be included. Where do, where, do, where do you go for that? So, 
Me personally, I don't. So like to hunt ducks, obviously you need like access to some type of water. So people are either leasing land or they'll go hunt um, public land. I guess like if you're broke like me, you'll go hunt public land because <laughs> my family didn't like we don't have no property. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, yeah, I hunt public. I'll go down, um, down to the coast, you know, and I hunt, uh, it's called, it's, it's a WMA, but what that is, is, uh, like a wildlife refuge that the state of Texas kind of protected, you know what I'm saying? To, to, um, not, uh, I don't know, to like, not in, what's the word I want to use to like, not induce, but like create like an area to, for ducks to uh, thrive down here. Uh, I, I don't know the word. I no, no, use. I got you. I totally yeah, get yeah. you. Bro. So they, I totally they, get you. There's, a, there's, there's some area that the, um, you know, the Texas Parks and Wildlife, yeah, they designate and they'll, you know, they'll make that, they'll keep that land designated for ducks. Um, so I'll, I'll hunt that area just because, like, a, yeah, it's public. That's um, sick. It is. It's pretty. That's dope. cool. I like it. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't expect that at all. Hell yeah. Nobody does. So I, <laughs> that's something I do like to mention. I don't know. Just because. I don't know. Like for one, I'm Asian. You, you typically don't <laughs> think of Asians as hunters. You know. I love how you just like I'm Asian, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> well, I, I get. You know, I'm, I'm just used to it now. Like, because. Oftentimes, when I'll pull up to a spot, you know, they're like, you can just see the reaction. Like, <laughs> you know, you don't, you look different, you know. And most of the time, I don't know. Once I talk, they they'll know that I, I, that I know what business. I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not just doing it for like Instagram views or yeah. you know, like it's it's like what I enjoy doing. You know, yeah. You got you got anything coming up for any of your businesses? Like, what do you what, any big plans or anything like that? Um, no, like, I don't, like events or stuff. Like, nah, nothing. Just really, no, nah, nothing planned. Just trying to, <laughs> just yeah, just normal daily stuff. Nothing, Hell yeah, that's cool. Yeah, nothing big lined up. Uh, let me think. With the snacks, do I have anything? Nah, with the business, just still trying to grow everything. You know, yeah, just trying to expand, grow, get the word out. Anybody want to shout out? Mm. Shut your bro out, man. Oh yeah, like my, that's fucking dope that y'all are like have maintained this business together yeah, and y'all yeah. are growing. Definitely, like shout that's out cool as to hell. My brother Julian, um, he's been my partner from the beginning, and you know, definitely could not do it without him. And yeah, shout out to my brother. Uh, actually, I'm gonna shout out to my homie Scott. You 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 actually know him? Oh, uh, you don't know him, but you've seen him. He knows you, so I'll give him a shout out. Uh, Cause uh, I actually asked him if he wanted to come, but he was like, "Nah, I got work tomorrow," you know, so I wouldn't trip. You know, but yeah, shout out to my brother Julian and Scott. One more time, can you shout out the businesses real quick? The ats. Yeah, so the smoke shop is at Supreme Smoke. Just you know, no special spelling, just how it is. The snack business is at Supreme Sodas and Snacks, both plural, no no special spelling. And the jewelry is at J Bowie and Co. Dude, thanks a lot for sitting with me today. This was fun as hell. Nah, for sure. It was thanks cool chopping it up. Definitely, definitely. Glad it, I came. Like, like I said, I'm. I would, it was cool just to chop it up because, like I said, I've seen you grow. You know, I've, I've been going to your your business for a while now. Man, I <laughs> appreciate it so much. You Yo, and no thank idea. you. You hooked me up with that those rocks last time. Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah, you I appreciate that. Was that was super solid. You already know I got you. One thousand percent. Well, shit. Everybody, stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I would do. <laughs> Y'all have a good night.